you get to do? What do you get to do that you're so excited about? Tell them. On the next, <laughs> no, the next level. And it's a good way to teach them about saving versus spending. And if someone has worked harder, they may make more money because they worked harder. Well, I want another little pop vinyl. This is my second one of the one. Lettuce. Lettuce. No. Let it snow. Let it snow. No. I am. I am. I am. Wasn't I? Say good morning, everybody. So we are starting our homeschool day. Huh, starting a little bit later today than we wanted to, but that's okay, sometimes you have to. I'm watching um, a video in a little bit. Yeah, you're learning um, about a video game boss, aren't you? Yeah, I'm learning it's a VR game. A VR game. Which Braxton has, he has to buy it. So right now, Aspen has been learning about were number words to go with the numbers. So, so far we know what three words to go with the numbers. Which ones would you learn? Um, What's the one you learned today? What's this one? I learned two and then I learned zero and I learned one. Yep, he's learning to recognize the word that goes with the number. So today two is our new number and he's gonna practice spelling it today, huh? I'm drinking coffee. Yeah, it's not really coffee. It's milk with my coffee creamer in it. He calls it pooty coffee. I'm eating also cheese balls. <laughs> You've been asking for those for like two days, haven't you? No, yes, like we planned three it out weeks or something. <laughs> we planned it out today to be one of our snacks, and it was our first, our first morning snack, huh? Yeah. Our second breakfast. Some people call it second breakfast when you eat again. Mom, uh, we snack like, for us. No, we need that. What? Margaritas and Mars. Margaritas. Yeah, I'm going to restock a few of the snacks this weekend for the next school? school week. Yep. Oh, and we just stocked up on some more homeschool supplies, you guys. So we ended up getting two more Life of Fred books because we need them. It is the second day of fall. It is the second day of fall. Not the first. Not the first. No, it is was it? zero like three, two days ago. So third day of fall then maybe. First day of fall, second day of fall, third day of fall. Did you drop your pencil again? So he likes his pencils really short and we still can sharpen it so he's still getting to use it. He likes this to use them down. This is how short mine is. You barely can see that. 
All right, you. It is a woody pencil. You it is. Can it has woody on it, doesn't it? see it. <laughs> it won't focus. Here, watch. I'll show you a trick. Ready? There. Now they can see your woody pencil. Isn't Look. that cool? You want to try it? Oh, now we got to say, hey, where'd you go? Hey, where'd you go? We'll refocus. Hold on. There we are. Now <laughs> you want to try it? Yeah. Then you get close. You hold your hand behind it. <laughs> nope, you gotta right. go up to the camera lens. There you like, go. Right there. <laughs> See it? Um, anyway. Right there. All right, you work on your number two, sir. I already worked on my number two. You gotta write your own now after oh. you trace them. You gotta write your own. My mother knew that. <laughs> he is having a character moment today. Anyway, we. Do that. Okay, shh, focus here. We ordered two more Life of Fred books, and we ordered a book for Braxton's literature class. So he got to pick from like five or six different novels, and he chose Ender's Game. So I think he said a game that he plays or something well, is based on it. Well, I wrote a five. It. You did write a five. Why don't you erase that and put a two? And let's try. This one is really nice that you did here. It goes from top to bottom. So why don't you try to do that How's again that with your last one? How's that one not that nice? That one. It is bad. nice, but it needs to be bigger. Do you see how big these are? You want that to be bigger like those ones. So this is what we're looking at, guys. We're practicing. Like that? I don't know if you can see it. It's probably upside down for you, but we're practicing on these lines here. Here. You want to show them? Yeah, this we're is what focusing, we're working on. Focus on this right here. Mm-hmm. Because this is supposed to be a two. All I can see is almost a Z. Okay. All right, see. now why don't you work on writing the word two? Can you do that? I want you to write it at least two times. The word two, two times. So anyway, we ordered Ender's Game and then I ordered because if you order through thrift books, you guys know I love thrift books. I get a lot of my homeschool books through there because they're uh, used so you get them at a discounted price. Sometimes I've had to buy them new Done. through there if you can't find it. Nice job. Okay, circle the group that has more leaves. So which one has more Choo -choo. leaves? <laughs> which one has more? So anyway, I order through thrift books a lot. Um, when I get my homeschool books and I if you order ten dollars worth of books you get free shipping So it just makes sense to me to always order at least ten dollars. So I ordered <laughs> I There's ordered two um, ones. Charlie Two ones I got you to. Yeah, okay, which one has more? I ordered Charlie and the chocolate factory and <gasps> then Yeah, I ordered the book. Are you gonna listen when we read it? Oh, he's excited for that. Um, and then I can't remember what Dad. the other book was I ordered. Oh, a space book because we're going to be doing um, a homeschool unit on space and it was one of them that These they suggested really as a read-along. Really so. really they are really good, aren't they? Good job. That is the correct one. Nice. You're done with that. So we're going to move on to your calendar and the weather today. Okay. There you go. Anyway, we're gonna get back to working on our school, but I just kinda wanted to give you a little update on some of the stuff that we have recently ordered. So, that would be it. And I got, I think I told you guys, I got Ireland's Next Good and the Beautiful level, and I got Aspen's Next Good and the Beautiful level, so we're counting down to the end of this level, you guys. And he, today, has 18 to go when he works on this one today, so we will be 17 to go. To the next level and then um, what do you get to do what do you get to do that you're so excited about tell them on the next mm -hmm. no the next level what do you read. Get? yeah he gets to learn to read you guys so he's very excited he's been wanting to learn to read. Can't see me. yeah we can see you there you are <laughs> all right we are going to get back to our home school i'm a stack of five pennies and put them on your five show you something new I'm doing. So the kids have had for a while this chart here and it's an incentive chart for them. This is for the younger kids. So this is Ireland, Zane, Aspen. The older kids I just expect them to keep their rooms and stuff like that picked up um, and do that. So they don't have that chart but it's a way to teach them responsibility plus they're always asking if there's a way that they can make money. So what I've done with this chart is each of these is worth a penny. No, it doesn't seem like a lot, but a penny adds up over time. Um, and so I, I use it to teach them like 
that if you work hard, every little bit adds up. And so they're learning that when they get cashed out on payday that they actually have some money um, of their own that they've earned and they've worked hard for. So one of the other things I've done now is I put up a list of things that I need help with today. Like I walked across the floor and it was swept, but now we made popcorn and stuff last night and it needs swept again. So I wrote that up here. We have bananas that need mashed and frozen because they're, they're going bad, so it's perfect for banana bread. Stuff like that. Um, I have a package of flossers sitting on here, the counter over here. So the flossers in the bathroom need filled and then that needs thrown away. So each of these jobs, if they collect one, is worth 10 cents. So it's an additional, little bit higher paying job. Um, vacuuming the stairs, cleaning toys off the stairs. Um, so they're a little bit higher paying. So they are welcome. Those are things that I'm gonna work on today, but they can beat me to the job and get paid a little bit higher rate of pay if they wanna help me. So um, I wanna see how that works for them. And I think it'll work well because they like to find ways to earn money. And I think it's a good way to teach them about hard work. And if they work hard, that they can earn money. And the harder they work, the more money they can earn. Hi. I do chores. <laughs> Yes, he does chores. <laughs> anyway, so that's something new that I'm doing with the kids. Um, I've never been a big one for like paying for chores because everybody needs to pitch in. But I don't mind paying a small amount like, like that just so that it's a way for them to earn money and see, especially when they're young because it's hard for them to earn money and they like to have money of their own. And it's a good way to teach them about saving versus spending and if someone has worked harder, they may make more money because they worked harder. So. It's something new that I'm doing with the kids and it seems to have worked really well. They're always asking me, what can I do? Is there something I can do to help mom or is there a way I can earn money? And so this is a way for them to do that. So the kids have a tendency and I will like pick up their items and set them on the stairs so they take them up. And there was a collection going on, they hadn't taken them up. So one of the chores I wrote down was to pick up everybody's stuff and Zane claimed it. So he's not complaining about putting away other people's stuff because he knows since they didn't do it, he's gonna get paid too. But they still have to come in and put it where they want. Yeah, they still them. have to put it away in their own rooms, right? You're not doing that for them. You're just taking no it to the room. And you're putting them neatly on their gray things, right? Good job. <laughs> nice work. These look clean. They are, you can put them in his sock drawer if you'd like. If you'd like, you don't have to. You can just put it up. <laughs> Is that a Lego? So Zane and I are working on editing an article right now. That's what he's working on for language arts. Um, it's having him start, him and Ireland both actually at this point in the year are working on editing. They're just working on different levels of editing. So he's correcting mistakes, looking for incorrect words, incorrect punctuation, capitalization, things like that. All right, so these guys are at the point in their math class again um, that they're working on what's called the bridge. And so there's five tries. Their goal is to try to get nine of the questions right at least, and then they can move on to the next section. So it does this about every six chapters. It'll review what they've been learning. All right, so there is lunch today, guys. We're gonna have fresh watermelon, bagels with cream cheese, and then vanilla yogurt with granola to go with it, and then fruit smacks. Fruit smacks? Fruit smacks. So I got the kids set down with a snack, um, and they are watching the last of their Seven Wonders of the Ancient World movie. Oh, look, you guys, I've been so good about not having cupboard doors open. You know how oh, I hate that. And today I've left them all open because I've just been 
rushing to get things done and haven't shut them. But anyway, um, I've got him set down with a snack. I'm about to run Zane down his cheese balls. They're watching Seven Wonders of the Ancient World. They have about 45 minutes, so I'm gonna try to get a little laundry in and then get the house reset. Hi, babe. Hi. <laughs> reset for group time, because our table's a little crazy after lunch and algebra and physics, so. And this is just about ready to pop on, so I'll get that load started. And then our afternoon should be reset in our end of our school day. Days. Yeah, we did. We bought some of these, you guys. We got the um, the Dutch cookies. Oh, they're so good. And there's so many in there. Each kid can have just a little package of three. So I gave the kids that had already had their cheese balls, Zane hadn't had his. Um, I gave them popcorn and then Dutch the but Dutch butter cookies or Danish butter cookies. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, for their snack, so eh, my head's not where it should be. Anyway, I'm gonna rush to get some of this stuff done so we can get into our group classes. Our school day's a little bit late, but it doesn't really matter. That's the beauty of homeschool, is you can have a late morning and still get to your school and get it done, so that's nice. If all the blue skies to gray, we're gonna be okay. beaches? Uh, rock. Flowing rivers. They pick up and, oh sorry, I didn't let you answer, did I? You can, you can try to answer the next one. They pick up and carry large amounts of soil from the banks and bottoms of riverbeds. When the rivers flow into the ocean, they drop this soil, which builds up into beaches. Next, manners. And then we do Alice in Wonderland, and then my friend and Then you're done. Okay, receiving lines. So receiving lines require patience on your part, but sometimes they must be endured. Very large parties make it difficult for the guest of honor to talk with each guest. So the receiving line makes it possible for him to have a short connection with each person who came to the party. If you can imagine how disappointing it would be to go to a birthday party that is so big, you can't get a chance to talk with your friend, you can probably understand the purpose of a receiving line, right? Keep comments short and positive, such as congratulations, you look beautiful, or handsome, this is such a nice party, thank you for inviting me. Usually All right, Alice in Wonderland. Brown. Usually when I use brown for coloring, I use this brown just because it's the easiest to spot out. <gasps> Guys, we're in through the looking glass. It had been having its face washed by the old cat for the last quarter of an hour and bearing it pretty well considering. So you see, it couldn't have had any hand in the mischief. The way Dinah washed her children's faces was this. First, she held the poor thing down by its ear with one paw. Then with the other, she scrubbed its face all over the wrong way. Matt ran up here on a quick break and he's running back down because he has to get to work. But look, 
I heard I got you guys. I want another little pop vinyl. This is my second one of the one. What was the last one? This uh, one's He-Man. Josh Haskins from Baskins from Haskins Baskins. Uh, why can't I say it right? From Big, from Tom Hanks' little kid character. I wanted him to get Captain Kirk, but he didn't win Captain Kirk. He doesn't get to pick it. They just pick it for him. But anyway, we are just finishing up our school day. We are doing Alice in Wonderland right now, and then we just have our math, and we're well, done. Alice we're gonna go play outside. Alice through the looking glass. Yeah, he's right. And then, as you can see, I've got laundry to fold back there. Ireland is talking to her bestie, Amelia. And we're playing dolls. They are. They're playing dolls virtually. I Since got that's the only way. I have 100,000 cards in my hand. <laughs> you do? That's a lot of cards in my hand. Since that is the only way that they can play together right now due to social distancing. But hopefully soon. Hopefully soon, you guys. Things start getting back to normal. Hey. How have you guys been handling social distancing for as long as it's been going on? How has it been for you? How have you adapted? What kind of things have you done? Let us know down below in the comments. Let us know. Let us. Let us. Let it. Let it snow. Let it snow. Let it go. Let it go. All right. We'll see you in the next video.